Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about the brand new One Boat Network app from Humminbird. And it just was released recently, so you can pretty much get this on every cell phone provider, uh, whether you have an iPhone or not. Uh, you should be able to find this. Now I'm a little disappointed because there's not a lot of information on this. And so if you Google this to Humber Humminbird, it takes you to their Fish Smart app, which is a whole different app that they've discontinued. You can still use it if you own it, but you cannot download it anymore. And if you purchase maps with the Fish Smart app, as long as you keep the same uh, username and, and setup, you can access those maps, but they don't interact with the new One Boat network. So if you click on this, um, trust me, it's not going to take you to where you want to go. This is this takes me to the information about One Boat Network, but that's not the app. So I'm assuming that Humminbird will have this straightened out pretty soon. But going back to my Google search, if you go down here, you can see there is some information from Johnson Outdoors. So if we click on that, it just talks about this, the, uh, the app and that you can subscribe. Now, if you've purchased one of the newer maps, the VX maps, you're going to get a t card in it that looks something like this and it'll have a, a code and that code will give you 12 months free for this app. This app normally costs $24, I think at 99 cents a year, which to some people might seem like a lot, but really it's two, two bucks a month. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what this app can do. And at the very end, I'm going to show you how to pair it to your, um, to your devices and show you the feature that's worth its weight in gold for so to me two dollars a month is minimal for what you're going to get so again when you google it you're not going to get much information now it's funny if you go to the apple and search one boat app you're actually going to get a little more information here so you can see it's going to tell you about the maps it's going to tell you about um, how you can control them all. It doesn't go, go into much detail. It's going to talk about how you can unlock some premium maps and so on. And so again, I'm going to show you how this all works. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, bring out the app next, show you how it works. And then at the end of the video again, I'll show you how to pair it to your devices on your boat. And then the feature that is really, really great, uh, I'll show you at the end. Okay, so we here we have it on my phone. This is what the app looks like. It's a triangle. And you open it up and you can see it's got several different features as far as uh, charts. So I'm going to go to my charts over here. And you can see that you can actually run your Raptor or or uh, if you have a Talon, you can raise and lower those just from your phone if you want. Um, so you can see all these things. This will take you to Johnson & Johnson where you can get some information. Go back to that. Go back to my charts. Here's where you can register your products just like you would online. But I've got a better thing that you can do. Again, I'll show you this at the end. Here's all the manuals for every single device that uh, Hummerbird has so while you're on the boat you can access the manuals you can also if you hit this button uh, down at the bottom it'll it'll call directly to uh to somebody that's going to help you from mincota and i've actually or not mincota from hummingbird i've done this on the boat to try to troubleshoot some problems and it's really helpful you don't have to worry about looking up the number just go right to there all right so let's go to the the best feature so far that i can show you so here's my chart. So now I've gone to a, a lake here and you can see there's some contours. Okay. So if I go up to this little hamburger, they call these little stacked things. There's all kinds of things that I can do. So I can click on objects. What objects do I want to show up? Depth contours. I like having a lot of depth contours, so I have mine set on high, but you can set it on low. You can change the color of your contours on your maps. 
the, the depth palette. I'll talk about the palettes here in a little bit. Um, these, if you own a VX map, this is exactly the way the VX maps are set up. And I have a video on that that you can watch the details. But basically, if I click on this color palette, you can see I've got it clicked on this one right now. So I'm going to get out of this so you can see the color palette. Let's zoom in, see some contours. See so here, I can see the creek channel swinging in close to this point. But the color palette that I like the best is this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to get out of this so you can see. And boom, that changes it immediately. And if I get over here into some deeper water, actually I've got some pretty deep water. So you can see with these new colors, the depths and the contours really jump out at you. I can see little underwater points, deep points and things. Now you could see those without these colors, but with the colors it just really pops and really jumps out to you. Okay, the other thing is you can put waypoints on here. So I've been pre-fishing in my living room for a tournament and I started dropping some waypoints. So I'm going to zoom in and just show you how I can drop a waypoint right here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to draw this, put a waypoint right here. So I just put my thumb on it. I can move it around to get it exactly where I want it. And then I just go to this waypoint cursor and boom I've done it so you can see I just put a waypoint there and the neat thing is once you pair this to your units I can upload these onto my units electronically no more using an SD card to uh, go to the you know that hummingbird uh, program and all that kind of stuff alright so what else can we do there's a bunch of layers and so one of the things I can add in aerial imagery. So if I click on that, it's going to give me a Google map. So let me get out of this. And now you'll see, I can see with a Google map what's going on here. And this lake does have some docks on it. It's got a marina over in here. And if I zoom in, there you go. You can see, see the marina. Now with that color palette, on it overlays over those but I can turn that color palette off and I'm going to be able to see those docks so that can be really handy for when you're on the water you can pull your phone out but again pre fishing is where I really see the advantage of this I mean most of us have really good graphs on our boats but I can be you know looking for channel swings that come close to some docks and things like that all right let's go back to here so that was layers I can click on things like bottom hardness, shaded relief. Also under the general, I like my orientation heads up. So if I'm in the boat, it, uh, the direction I'm heading, the map will orientate itself, but you may prefer to have north up all the time. That's just my preference is to have heading up. Uh, so you can turn some other things on and off with that. And then here I can resort, reset um, all the, the presets that I've got. Let's see, yeah, I already did that one. And then down here, you can actually change the water offset just like you can on the on your graphs. So if it's a drawdown period, get on the water and I can start to change this. Again, I can change all kinds of symbols. The text size, I like it large. Some people would like it small. So this is just all things that you can play with. And then this is where you would actually access some uh, some charts. And so you've got different things that you can download. The base map, I would recommend downloading. And then you can download different parts of the U.S. Or this is actually U.S. inland, and then this is Canada, and this is coastal, and then this is Florida coastal. So depending on where you live, you might want to download one of those. And then you can purchase specific maps. Now, if I click on this, it's going to take me right to Humminbird, where you can buy the hard copy. Oh, I guess there we go. There's a VX maps right here. That's for Australia. 
here's for Australia East and so on so you can scroll th through this and purchase but that's gonna be a hard copy map that's gonna be the actual SD card that you'd be purchasing there so again I put in my coupon uh, because I bought a VX map so you can see my expires um, in 2024 and now I'm going to take you out to the boat and show you how you would pair this to your devices. Okay, so here we are on my boat and I've got my Solix here. But you can do this with uh, any of the newer uh, Helix as well and actually a lot of the other uh, products. So from this menu, I go to where it says self-help. It says uh, manuals, F frequently asked questions, and YouTube tutorials. I know this is a little dark for you to see. I'm out here in my garage. So you click on that, and you've got product manuals, frequently asked questions, tutorials, product manuals, and so on. Uh, this is for the Hummingbird. This is for the Binkota. But down here, One Boat Network Help. So I can click on that for help, but I want to do the Bluetooth pairing. So I'm going to click on this, and I've got Hummingbird, and it's a Solix. Press the home button on your hummingbird to open the home screen and select the Bluetooth. So I'm going to do that right now. And I believe that's, oh, here it is. See it right here. Okay, select the connect phone under phone uh, Bluetooth setting to make your hummingbird discoverable by your phone. So I'm going to have to do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I hit next. And so it took me there and Bluetooth, I've got my Solix in here. And this may take a second, I'm not gonna have you watch while the wheels are spinning. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, here it just showed up, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click Pair, Confirm. And right here it says Solix is connected. So now let's go back to our app. Should all be done. I'm not going to do other devices right now, but I've got three other graphs that I do need to connect, and I have to connect my Raptor, but I'll do that on another day. So I'm done with that. So now, um, let's see if I can find where these are located. All right, so sorry, that took me a second to find. So right under here, under Network and Updates, it says Manage Your Devices. So I click on that. It can see my Solix is now paired. It tells me what the software update, it's 4.130. And what you can do now, once you've got these paired, in the past you had to go to your computer with an SD card, go to the web, uh, Hummingbird page, download the update, bring it back in here, insert it into the, into the unit, and then let it run its update and if all went well you pull the card out and you're ready to go now a lot of people struggle and have difficulties doing that process but with this app now you still do need a, a sd card it's still the same it's 32 gigabytes or less you need to have it um, encrypted for this device but you're going to put it in here and this will be another video i'm going to do that uh, completely new video but i i put it in here I run the download the update it's going to download onto the card once it's downloaded onto the card then I still have to go through the setup on this unit but there's no more I'm cutting out the middleman I don't have to use the computer first I just download it from here to the card and once it's on the card then I go through the steps to put it onto the unit so once you have all your units uh, updated you're going to be able to do that now to do that you do need the latest update and i'm going to put a list of the updates right now and i'll put a link in the description as to what the newest updates that you have to have so the first update 
will sync this with the OneBoat app. So I can't do anything until I get that done. So I'll show you how to do that real quick right now. All right, so here I am on the Hummingbird website. And as you go to support, you're going to click on software updates. Now, I know a lot of people on the message boards aren't real big on updating their software, which to me is crazy because you spend several thousand dollars on these units and you want to have the most updated software possible. And if I wasn't doing the updates, I would not be able to transfer the update via phone um, like I would be able to soon. So I've got a Solix 15, so I'm going to click on this. And again, you have to have the right unit. But now that I've paired this with my phone, I can see the unit. It's 15 MSI plus G3. So Mega SI. It's this top one right here. So you click on it and you can see the most current software update is 4.130. And it even has it lit up that this avail the ooh, sorry. It has it lit up that this is available. But if you look closely, the installed software is 4.070. So I need to update this software. And I believe this software it's going to tell you what it what it does. Uh, let's see, but I believe it's if by installing that it's going to make yeah here it is, added support for the One Boat Network app. So this one I have to do the traditional way. I have to put the SD card in this computer right here. Download the software update. Physically go out to the boat, load it in there. Once that's done though then this can do all future updates. So it's really important that you get this, this update done. Okay, that's the recent one. It just came out February 9th, so just a couple weeks ago. So again, these people that complain, I don't, I'm not going to do these software updates. Well, that's fine, but then you're not going to be able to, in the future, do a quick, easy software update via the phone. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I'll uh, put a link so you guys can get to the software page really easily in the description below. And I hope this helps you understand how to use the OneBoat Network app. Thanks for watching.